Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Dunster House TV. Today we are visiting Harry's Bar in Dan Harrington's garden. They took one look at our Terminator log cabin and knew it was exactly what they wanted. My name's Dan Harrington, I'm a training manager and my wife and I have a relatively decent sized garden uh, and the, the bit down the bottom end was uh, had been many things over the years from a, a plot for a shed to a, a play area for our daughter but now she's got past that sort of play area stage it was just a, a dead empty piece at the bottom of the garden and we were kind of wondering what to do with it um, and some friends have a, a, a bar in their back garden we thought we, that, that, that was a very good idea and might like to do the same. Um, so we started hunting around on the internet to, to look at something to, to, to fit the bill and um, and that's when we stumbled on Dunster House. I, I searched for, for garden bars and uh, the uh, Dunster House website and, and the Terminator popped up and my wife took one look at it and said I want that one. Um, and that, that, you know, a happy wife, happy life. Uh, so that, that's how we ended up with that decision. We had a pretty smooth process right from start to finish and uh, it took us a couple of hours to well, an hour or so to unpack, a couple of hours to level up the um, uh, the bearers. We took our time to get that right um, and it paid dividends because the rest of the building went up relatively quick and easy. By the end of, uh, by the, end of the second day, uh, myself and a friend who'd never seen one of these things before in our entire life, having studied the plans, but um, but, but that was it. We, um, we'd, we'd got it up and watertight within, um, uh, within two days. Two men who have never seen our log cabin in their life attempting to build it. What could go wrong? So all the interior design was down to my wife. Um, she had a very clear idea in her mind that she often has what she wanted out of it. Uh, the idea she had in her mind was for a, um, uh, for a trendy bar uh, with a modern colour scheme and uh, not to look uh, like a traditional pub. Wow, our log bar looks great. I mean, the main catalyst for um, for having the bar in the first place was that, I mean, like I said, some friends have, have got one and we've socialised with them uh, uh, in theirs and it, it is a fantastic addition to it, you know, to go out, especially with the, the uh, or at the time, the um, the lockdown that would, that would, you know, sort of just come in. Um, bear in mind, we ordered back in January. It's transformed the entire garden and we put the, uh, we, we got the cabin up and got that painted and then realised how, um, you know, the rest of the garden didn't quite look up to scratch and could do with some uh, some attention. So we've ended up putting fake grass down instead of, uh, and, and tearing up the lawn and putting some fake grass down. We've um, got a new garage roof on order and a matching anthracite grey to go alongside the bar and we've painted the fence both sides of the garden which we, we had never done before just to, to make it all tie in. Bought new garden furniture in a matching colour and you know to just and it's now turned into a really really nice um, garden area just in time for the uh, for, for the decent weather to hit after all the rain stopped um, and you know we can now comfortably get um, the six people that you're allowed to meet with inside into the bar um, and we could have 15, 20 people in the garden um, and everybody could sit comfortably in a nice environment and it, it's great for us to be able to you know, socialise with people. It just gives us a place to, to socialise and um, you know, it keeps everybody together in a, in a nice environment. We'll leave Dan pulling pints in his favourite pub. Join us again next week as we visit another of our customers' gardens. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss an episode.